Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things automotive. Today I have some exciting news for you about the future of Mercedes-Benz and its compact cars. You won't believe what they're planning to do with the next generation GLA. Stay tuned to find out more. So, you've probably heard Mercedes saying it will discontinue several compact cars after the current generation models run their course. While models like the A-Class sedan, B-Class minivan, and the CLA shooting brake are in jeopardy, it makes perfect sense the GLA is staying given how people are obsessed with crossovers nowadays. A fresh batch of spy shots gives us an early look at the next GLA, disguised as a test mule using the existing body. While it would be pointless to talk about how the car looks, we do notice this test mule sits a bit higher than usual. There's a good reason for that, since we can spot the bulky battery pack underneath the vehicle. According to our pals at Team Rendering who were kind enough to share these spy shots with us, the next GLA will drop the plug-in hybrid setup in favor of a self-charging hybrid system. As a matter of fact, they claim the self-charging hybrid will be the only way to buy a new GLA as Mercedes allegedly intends to drop the gasoline and diesel variants altogether. A fully electric EQA will once again be offered, although it could go by a different name as the German luxury brand will purportedly begin to gradually retire the EQ branding beginning in 2024. As radical as the change might be to limit powertrain offerings to hybrid and electric versions for the new GLA, we can't say we're shocked. After all, the Euro 7 standard will come into effect in the European Union in 2025, and it's going to make it even harder for automakers to comply with emissions regulations. Separately, Mercedes has already said it will be ready to offer an electric-only lineup in Europe by 2030, wherever market conditions allow so the writing is on the wall for pure ICE models. Since this GLA is an early test mule, logic tells us the production model won't be launched until later in 2025. Geely owned Volvo will also use these hybrid powertrains, which will be manufactured in Europe and China. And that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. What do you think of Mercedes's plans for the next GLA? Do you like the idea of a self-charging hybrid system? Let me know in the comments below.